Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this Sylvania B222 Free um, Series Street Light. Okay, now I actually did do a video of this, but I'm going to be making an updated video. So I'm going to be deleting that old video and I'm going to be replacing it with this one. Okay, so this one here, in this video I'm going to explain a little bit more in depth about the fitting. Okay, so this is the B222 Free, so this is made by Sylvania. This particular fitting here was used as... Um, minor road street lighting throughout Australia. Uh, I think back in the, maybe back in the late 80s or perhaps even the early 90s, I'm not too sure, but it's been around for a long time. Okay, it probably may have been around earlier than that. Okay, so this was essentially the successor to the B Quad 2, which was the previous generation to this, and it's apparently the processor to the B224. <clears throat> so this is the B223 series, okay, made by Sylvania. Now, there was actually a few different variants of this particular fitting. Okay, the first one, or well, one version is that the chassis may have been grey. Okay, so you had a grey chassis and you had the black chassis. So you had two colours. Another version had stainless steel clips that held this um, diffuser on. This one does not. Instead, it's just held in place by a screw. But there was another model where you had stainless steel clips. And there is also the Nostalgia series, which is the same, same fitting, except it's got this, um, like, a... Uh, reflector assembly around the, the head. Okay, so that's the nostalgia, and of course it's green instead of black. Okay, but this is just your standard B223. Okay, I think this may have been just a, probably the Mark II or something, because the B223, the first, very first one, had the stainless steel clips and they stopped using it. So I think this would be the um, technically Mark II, okay, or something. Okay, so a B223 MK, MK2. Okay, so um, so this particular fitting here is a um, an 80 watt mercury vapor. Okay, it was also available in 70 watt high pressure sodium and metal halide calibers as well. Okay, but this um, this is an 80 watt mercury vapor version. Okay, now this particular fitting here I actually salvaged off the street light engineers back in 2016 when they upgraded my street to LEDs. So this is one that was out on the street on my street until until it was replaced with LEDs. So, um, so this thing here that was on the streets now in my light collection, right? So this particular fitting here will run uh, mercury vapor and it will also run LED. And I happen to have an LED globe in there to show you that it will run it, but we will turn it on with the mercury vapor as well. All right. So, um, so I'll show you around. This is the the um, the bottom of the. This is what the fitting looks like when you look at it from the street side. Um, this here is the photo cell it takes. The photo cell it uses is this style right here. It uses the D2 style, which is this particular type here. You might notice that it looks like a fluorescent light starter, except with an extra pin in the middle. It also has this little notch on there because inside the receptacle there's a track that this needs to follow in order to go in. So, so you can only insert this one way because you've, okay, it's not like fluorescent starters where you can actually insert it two ways. And I'm doing, it's not easy to do it when you're hot one handed. I think I might be, yeah, and I've inserted it the wrong way. That's why. You have to insert it the correct way. Okay, and then you just twist it until it locks in place. Okay, just like that. Okay, this is the um, the spigot hole right here. So this is where your arm would go through for your spigot. So what you do is you run the arm th through there. Okay, now unlike the later generation fittings, this one here had the bolts on the outside. Okay, I'll just rotate this around so you can see them. So there's the bolts right there. They're actually on the outside of the fitting. Okay, so... You could actually um, tighten it to the pole before you actually um, wire it up. Okay, so you tighten it to the pole on the outside. Okay, and that was a cool benefit. Well, on the later fittings, as of the B Triple Two Four and later, they had it concealed inside the fitting. Okay, um, but this one here has it on the outside, so you got external bolts. The B Quad Two had it as well. Um, even the the Audridge um, LED street lights have external bolts, but they're actually mounted on the bottom, not on the top. Okay, so that's a huge difference there. Okay, and this is the top. This is what it looks like on the top there. All right. Okay, now this one's black. You might notice it's actually a gloss black because I actually repainted the chassis. Okay. So this is um, an acrylic diffuser, okay, which is held on. Okay, so I'll take it off. To undo, you just undo the screw here. Okay, you undo it. Okay. Then, you just, then it just twists off. Okay, like that. Okay, so that's our diffuser. Now, one thing to note about this is that there's actually four different sections to it. 
Okay, and I'll show you. Okay, we have this front one. Okay, then we have two side ones which are the same, and then we have a back one. Okay. So I think the two side ones were designed to help shoot light up and down the road, as with the front one and back one weren't. Okay, and even now this can only go on one way, okay, because these aren't in the same spot, they're actually in different spots. Okay, so here's the fitting itself, okay. This is the plate, okay. Now some of these fittings you'll often see that the plate is missing, okay, I've noticed. Okay, I don't know why, but there just was, okay. Um, now this plate here was grey originally, but I painted it white, okay, just because I think it looks cool that way. I'll take this globe out, this is the globe I've got in here, it's a Philips LED globe, okay. Okay, we'll show it turning on with that and then we'll put the mercury vapour bulb in, but this is the mercury vapour bulb that, I, that came with it, it's a Sylvania mercury vapour bulb, you can see the arc tube in there, okay. So here we have our socket, it's an E27 screw socket. Okay, to take the plate off is simple. You just squeeze this part. Okay, you just squeeze this. Okay, you just do this, like so. If I can, a bit hard to do one-handed, like I said. You just squeeze it and then the plate, the plate comes off like that. Okay, so here's what's inside. Okay, we have our, um, our ballast, which is made by APCO. This is the ballast right here. It's an 80 watt mercury vapor ballast. Okay, so mercury vapor, this, you can't use high pressure sodium or metal halide on it unless they're designed, unless they're refits which are designed to run on it. Uh, there's no capacitor in here, so um, this thing does not have a capacitor, but it doesn't matter because you can run it without a capacitor. Here we have the photocell receptacle right here. We have our terminal block, okay, and we have the mains lead that comes in, okay, and there's our E27 socket. Okay, so um, so most of this stuff is original. Most of the, this brown wire you see here, this blue wire are new. I actually had to replace them. Okay, so that's all what's inside the chassis. Okay, and the same will be for the same for me would be for the nostalgia and of course the grey grey model. Okay, and this is the plate, and it's a bit filthy on this side, but this side here it's nice and clean. So I'll put it back on. To put the plate back on is quite easy. You just simply line it up over this metal part here. Okay, now you've got to be careful because sometimes this can be sharp and it can cut you. Okay, so we'll put that on. Alright, I'll put the um, the LED globe in. Okay, and we'll turn it on with the LED globe. I'll put the diffuser on to show you what it looks like with the diffuser. Now I've got to put it on the correct way, otherwise it won't go on. Okay, so this diffuser can only go on one way. Okay, because of the, the design. Okay. And that's the wrong way. Okay, we'll rotate it around, see if I can get it on the right way. That's the wrong way again. There is also a retainer on this diffuser, so you can so it won't fall off the fitting. All right, so now the diffuser is on. Okay, we're gonna take this out because otherwise it will cut out. All right, so we'll take that out and now we'll turn it on. Here we go. Okay, now it's um, LED globe, so it's gonna turn on instantly, unlike the mercury vapor. Um, so this is warm white, the, uh, it's probably not as bright as the street LED, okay, but it's bright. Okay, and I think in the old video that I did on this, I actually used a self ballasted bowl because I didn't have the ballast in here at the time. Okay, but now that I do, okay, I'm actually going to show you the real deal. So this is just a remake. Okay, so that's LED, so we'll turn that off. Okay, and we'll uh, take the diffuser off. We'll take this LED globe out and we'll put in the mercury vapor. Okay. So this is the mercury vapor, this is the globe that was original to the fitting. Okay, now it needs to warm up because it's uh, mercury vapor, unlike that, that turns on instantly. Okay, uh, you can probably see the arc tube in there. You can see the arc tube actually. I don't have any black light bulbs in 80 watt, apparently I only have it in 400. But you can see the arc tube in there. See it's warm up. It's a bit blackened because it is a used bulb. Okay, but that when that gets brighter, it puts off more light. Yeah, that's why um, mercury vapor has been around for street lighting in Australia for a very long time. It's been around since the seventies, I think, or perhaps even long, or perhaps uh, yeah, it's probably been around since the late seventies because mercury vapor replaced the old fluorescent street lights from back in the sixties, the old two by twenty watts uh, zodiacs and all that, and this. This was the thing that replaced it. Okay, I'll put the cover back on to show you what it looks like with the cover on. 
Okay, so I'll stick the, the diffuser on. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the diffuser on. Okay, the, the acrylic diffuser puts out a good amount. It's designed to shoot out the light in, a, in an even, in an even way. Okay, so um, so yeah. Now this is a phosphor coated bulb. Um, I've never seen clear mercury vapor bulbs used um, in in street lighting throughout Australia. Um, I have seen them, but not in real in person. I've seen them on photos, but not in person. Okay, I don't really know because the clear mercury vapor bulbs are very rare, to my knowledge. Okay, you know, you'll be lucky to find clear metal halide and clear high pressure sodium bulbs. I have a few of them. Okay, but I've mostly used phosphor coated bulbs because I find them reliable. Or I, or of course nowadays I use LEDs. Okay, but, but once again it's um pretty good. Okay, then these mercury vapor lamps are becoming obsolete now because of LED taking over their. They're, they're, they are deemed as old technology, but they are good collector's items. Okay, and I like them. Okay, so it's warming up. Now, the same process will be for high-pressure sodium metal halide when they warm up. Okay, now the colour temperature of this, I think, is um, maybe a cool white colour or a... Um, well, it's not exactly cool white. It's not as close as neutral white, but the metal halide puts off a nice neutral white colour. If you've seen the metal halide bulb I showed you in the Roadstar, okay... This is an actual mercury vapor lamp. Okay. Okay, so that's probably nearly at full brightness now. Okay. Um, but these were very good lights. Okay, they're available mercury vapor, high pressure sodium metal halide. Okay, but nowadays, if these things are still around, they'd probably be converted to run LED globes. Okay, you could even run incandescent or compact fluorescence in these as well, though it'd still work. Okay, but uh, most people, but it's mostly the high HIDs. Okay, so there you go. So that's at full brightness now. So um, 80 watt mercury vapor. It looks kind of greeny, greenish white on camera, but in person it's more of a, a more pinkish white. Okay. So um, so there you go. So that's a B triple two three mercury vapor street light. Um, okay. So now we'll turn it off. All right. So that is my B2223 Sylvania Streetlight. Hope you enjoyed and that'll be it.